Hi there, I'm Cynic Placebo with Pushing 40 Big Games, and it's Friday, which means it's time for another fantasy game. So today I've selected City of Brass. Uh, I don't know anything about this game. I bought it fairly recently. What I understand is it's kind of like Immortal Redneck, where it's going to be a procedurally generated dungeon sort of vibe. So, let's see what happens. Alright, so we've got crossbow wielding now. Sweet. New game options. Eh, it looks... Looks good enough. Let's just turn the music down a little bit, how about? Just so we can hear the other sound effects better. Alright. Is this your first time? Yes. Just the slider until the one is barely visible. Well, I can't see it right now, so there we go. Now it is barely visible. Wow, it looks brighter actually on the recording, but trust me, it's, uh, it's really like, well, maybe I should optimize it for you guys. Turn down just a little more. There, barely visible, sure enough. That is almost black on my screen, but on the recording it looks a little brighter, so hopefully that'll mean that the gamma is perfectly balanced for this recording. <laughs> Alright, tutorial. Use those to move, or looks like Wasad works too. Oh, it looks like I'm dropping frames, actually. So let's, uh, let's quit this. Well, let me, let me turn down the graphics real quick. So... Uh, let's do windowed borderless, that's fine. Screen resolution, uh, you know, I've got this set down to 720 down there. Graphics quality, instead of high, let's do medium. All right, let's try that. Save and close, yes. Let's see if I stop dropping frames now. There we go, now we're locked at a, at a solid 60. Okay. Welcome, O Traveler, to these streets of brass and death. Enter and find that which will be your curse, as it was our curse and remains still. All right. Is this like a Pirates of the Caribbean vibe? I'm going to steal some gold and I'm going to end up turning into a skeleton. I'm going to break this because there might be stuff in it. All right. Jump, jump. Got it. That points where to go. Good to know. Behold, we built the city here a thousand years ago and amassed treasure from all the quarters of the earth as a jewel in the desert. The brass towers of the city shone with wealth and our pride. So press and hold to climb. Got it. But when all are rich beyond imagining, who will be a servant? And so, in our power and recklessness, our rules bound the diabolic genies diabolical genies into servitude. Alright. So, the genies are kind of evil. Run, jump, and hold space to cross wide gaps. How do you run? There's no sprint key. Oh, it's toggle sprint. Okay, so... Oh, holding it down walks all of the times you sprint. Got it. Alright. So I can wall climb... Oh, nice. There is stuff inside of there. Should have been destroying all of it. Oh, interesting. Huh. It's an interesting effect. I haven't seen anything like that in recent years. That's very interesting. Huh. Alright, sorry, I'll quit playing around. Oh, the whole stand. I just meant to break. Oh, again, it's toggle. Okay. Toggle crouch, toggle run, got it. In their thirst for ultimate power, the rulers made a final terrible pact, imprisoning a trio of genies at the center of the city. Their guarantee that the city would become immortal. Run and crouch to slide for a speed boost. Alright, so if I run and crouch, I slide, okay. And apparently you slide f faster. Than you would otherwise, I guess. Wait, there was a, th a thing to loot. Where'd it go? There it is. Get back here. All right, more treasure. I like treasure. More treasure. But as a city filled with dread, magic was no jewel. Rather, it was a beacon of warning. Our allies fled and refused to return. Our trade dried up and one cannot eat gold. We began to starve. Use your whip to pick up distance objects with right trigger. Ah, nice. Okay, so right trigger's the whip. 
Sweet. Oh, whip everything. That's right. Dun da 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 Nice. Alright. What else is Jingle Jangling? Oh, so if you move while you're whipping, it does change what you've aimed at. Interesting. Can I get up there? Alright. Can I hold down the whip to climb? Indiana Jones style? Follow the arrow to the next exit. Ooh, that's a that's a baddie. Madness reigned. Power and magic twists the mind. We filled our city with traps to protect our wealth against whom we knew not. But who would visit such a bedeviled place? Obviously me. Hit enemies in the head with your whip to stun them. All right. And chop them. Sweet. Oh, where'd it go? Where it go? There we go. I'm just bull whipping everything. Nice. All right. So far, so good. I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing anything important. As the curse took deeper hold, lo, we turned on each other like rabid dogs, but those in the city could never truly die. The streets became filled only with the undead. Shove your enemies with F to push them into traps. Oh, nice. And I assume if I go on there, that will also trap me, right? Yeah. Okay. Use F to shove your enemies onto a trap. Use Q to quick drag an enemy. Okay. So Q pulls, F pushes. And I have to avoid the traps myself. Alright, so I can pick it up with E. But, you know, why pick things up when I can whip it up? Whip it into shame. In time, the city sank beneath the sands, waiting for someone else to break the curse. But only fools come intent on taking the riches for themselves. None ever leave. All become accursed. Alright. Sounds like a lovely city you have. I hear a jingle somewhere. Hmm. Alright. Call me crazy. Hearing phantom, jing phantom jingles. And you, fool, will you learn from our folly? Will you be the one to free us from our torment? Will you free yourself? Probably not. There's gold to be had. I'm going to go full mummy mode and just uh, stuff my pockets, even though the city's starting to crush me. Oh. So that was just the tutorial. Okay. <laughs> The fool, having traversed the bewildering dunes with the help of a borrowed amulet, the fool raised the city of brass from the sands and entered, little knowing that he would become accursed as the city itself. Use that to attack with sword or that to attack with whip. All right. What's this page up and page on? Oh, the traveler. Oh, so I can be... All right, so I can either be the traveler or I can be the fool. Those are the only options. Following the trail of the thief who stole the amulet she had worked so hard to acquire, the traveler at last reached the city of brass, seeking fortune and revenge. She entered the gates unafraid of the dangers lurking within. Use that to attack with sword. Well, this guy sounds doomed in his description, so let's be this person. All right, level one, the abandoned outskirts. Uh, it's timed? All right. Can I just jump over that? Yeah! All right. Disable the traps. What? I don't have enough money for that, I don't think. I don't need the traps disabled. I just need to avoid them. Yeah, that's 500? I only have 25. this potion I took was, but it's very irritating. It makes it really hard to see. I only have so long. 
So I gotta find the exit before I get trapped. But I gotta get the loot. Alright. And you'll heal me for 250. Alright. traps against you. Ooh, he's a quick one. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Not what I expected to have happen. Okay, I'm learning. What is that? Earth was that? Get over here. Oh, oh man! All right, I shouldn't have uh, sliced that. Oh, I'm getting hit. All right, let's just run through there. Oh, man, these traps are wrecking it. Oh, man. That is uh, harder than I thought it was going to be. But this is a, that's an interesting game. All right. Let's try this once more. And then we'll call it quits because I think we'll have a feel for it. Oh, is this a totally different dungeon? I don't know. It's just nighttime now. All right. Uh, I don't want to drink that potion. It was weird. Ah. Alright, no, I don't need you to disable the traps. Because ah. I can just time them. Look at that. Whoa! So far, so good. I don't know how long this timer is going to give me. I better hurry up. Oh, nice. All right. Got to avoid the traps. So good. Haven't gotten hit. That's, that's good. Ow. She got me. Alright. So far, so good. Ooh, nice treasures. Silence, Iron Constitution, Rope. I imagine that's just going to last, though, like, during this single level? Maybe? Maybe I'm fooling myself. Alright, i got to follow this, uh... Alright, that's one way to do it. Just got to time it, just got to time it, it's all good. Those are a little brutal. Alright. 
right, so far so good. Let's trigger that. Can I run? Oh, that got me. I'm almost dead. But is this the exit right here? Did I make it? <laughs> By the seat of my pants. All right, loading level two, the forbidden markets. And am I gonna be still dead or do I? Oh, I get to keep the gold, that's good. Oh, but I'm still basically dead. So, interesting. All right, so that has been City of Brass. I hope you liked it. This fantasy game seems interesting. It seems like a procedurally generated dungeon, which I always like. It increases replayability. So if you like this one want to see me play more of it, let me know. But if not, I'll pick a new fantasy game for next week. So until next time, play more games.